Hello, you're welcome. Today we'll be treating estimation in mathematics. And the objectives for today's lesson include what is estimation, how to use method of estimation to determine a row value using multiplication, addition, division, and subtraction. And lastly, importance of estimation. What is an estimation? Estimation is finding a number that is close enough to the right answer. Or, we could say that estimation is a method used to determine a raw value for an operation, especially when we have the idea of the size or the value of the operation involving addition, multiplication, division, or subtraction. So here are some examples we are going to take a look at. Here we are asked to estimate the value of these numbers here. You can see we have addition, we have multiplication, division, and subtraction. How do we estimate the value? But first, I want you to understand the difference between estimating and evaluating. So when we are asked to estimate a value, we are asked to work out an approximate answer, approximate close to. But when we are asked to evaluate, we are asked to do what? Find the exact number, the exact answer. So you see, they are quite different. So here, we are asked to estimate the value. So the first thing to do whenever you are asked to estimate is to do what? Round each number in the calculation to one significant figure. I believe we all know how to round off a number to a significant figure. If you don't, please comment on the, com uh, on the section below or send a message across. So that I will make a video or tutorial on how to convert numbers to significant figure. So here we are asked, we are going to convert the number here to a significant figure. You know that a significant figure is a non-zero digit when counting from the left hand side. So here we have 3 as a significant figure. So we are going to round it down since the next number close to which is not up to 5. Hence, we round down. It remains the same. That is when we round down. We are having 3 back. Then, our operator multiplication. And the next one, the significant figure here is 6. Are we rounding up or rounding down? Since the next number by the right to the target digit 6 is not greater than 5 or up to 5 we round down, hence we repeat the number. This is what this number is converted to one significant figure. So here, 3 times 6 is going to give us 18, hence our estimated value. We move to the number 2. In number 2, we have 43.24 plus 29.06. We are asked to estimate, find the estimated value. Here, we convert or round the numbers to one significant figure. Hence, we'll be having 40. Because the number close to 4, the significant figure, is less than 5. Plus, bring down the operator. Here it will be 30 because the number next to the significant figure, which is 9, is greater than 5 or is up to 5. So we round up, not down. So when we round up, we increase the number by 1. So you can see we have 3 and the other one 0. Don't forget the place value of the number. The place value of the number here is 10. So it must always be in that form. We move to the, okay, we have to complete the answer. So 40 plus 30 is going to give us 70. So hence, this is our estimated value. We move to the C. Given that 5.603 divided by 4.031. We are going to round off to what? One significant figure. Always note, always round off to what? One significant figure. Here is a significant figure here. The next number 
to the significant figure is up to 5. Hence, we round up. We'll be having 4, 40. Then, divided. And this one, we are having what? 4. The reason it's going to be 4 is because the next number close to the target digit, which is 4 here, is not up to 5. Hence, we round down. We are going to have our number the same. So 40 divided by 4 is going to give us 10. Hence, our estimated value. Then we move to the last one. Here we have 3,987 minus 2,620. What are we expected to do? Still the same procedure. Round the number to one significant figure. Here is the significant figure here, the first non-zero digit. So rounding it off is going to give us what? 4,000. Because the next number close to the significant figure is up to 5. Hence, we round up, giving us 4, 0, 0. Then other numbers are 0. Don't forget. Then subtract. Put, put our sign. This one is up to 5. So we round up to. It's going to give us 3. Then other numbers 0, 0, 0. Hence, our value is going to be 1,000. Wow. It's quite interesting, isn't it? So, if we go further to importance of estimation. It saves money. It saves time. And it saves one from making mistakes while using the calculator. This one is very essential, especially for students. You cannot have an idea that 3,000 times 1 is going to give you um, 3,000 and you end up having something like 3. That means you automatically press something wrong. So you don't have to go for the accent how come. You know that there is a mistake. Immediately you recheck your input. And the last one is that it helps one focus on what is really going on. Then we'll move over to summary. Here I'm going to give you ideas of places you can apply estimation in real life so at the supermarket try to add up everything yourself and then compare it to the final bill or estimate how long it will take you to get home also you could try it when sh shopping you see which is better bargain by estimating the price per quantity please attend to this question i wish you best of it all see you in next class and if you have any question please don't forget to ask i will be expecting that bye bye